something like the second run, um, we kind of going back to like the old position. We're down at like point point one eight two now. So at my best uh, in this winter, I was like down at like point one seven five. Like each tunnel is going to vary, but what we always find like with the Mercedes tunnel is it's kind of like the accuracy is it, it generally translates into like the real world. Where where I found it with like the other tunnels is the CDA can come out lower but the CDA in the real world is a lot higher. So I'm happy with that one. It feels like I can uh, yeah, sustain that, just retrain the body to get back into it. So test free coming up. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. One of the key things that a lot of triathletes are doing at the minute, and it's, there's a lot of speculation about the camelback, or what I'm seeing a lot of triathletes is uh, they're using like uh, a bottle, using it with ice as well, so they're shoving it down like the chest. It's really interesting, the story behind this uh, is actually Simon, who got here today. Initially, he was kind of the guy that innovated uh, the camelback like down the chest. It was actually used for like Tony Martin for a while, then a number of athletes. I remember riding, uh, in the National 10 and we like we, there was just a variation in like testing wasn't there I think, I think the gain on me was right around like four watts I remember one once we made it that big uh, I think we got a, it was like a, a gain of like six watts but I, it was actually that big I couldn't get like my head into place so I think there's always a, a trade-off with that type of thing so today we're going to test what a lot of triathletes are doing and that's the, the bottle down the chest and we'll see what form of game that gives us Yeah, you can feel it, like especially on like a skin suit, you push it into your chest like quite a bit. Obviously on the tri suit, you'll have like a bit more movement. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see: is it a hack or is it a gain? <laughs> Let's see. And the, the, the art of all of this is just it's having like repeatability. Like obviously we're in like this Formula One winter tunnel now, so the accuracy of this is like yeah, unbelievable. You know, like this, you're not, not going to beat the the accuracy of the Mercedes wind tunnel. So. Uh, Let's find out what he does. Moment of truth. Okay. Moment of truth. So yeah, we're gonna get the moment of truth in a minute. You can definitely feel like the flow of the bottle, like it, it reacts like differently around the chest. Well there you go Matt, the results are exactly the same as they were 12 years ago for what? For what? There you go, created 12 years ago in the winter long for what? <laughs> Although we did use bubble wrap that time, yeah. and now it's a bottle, so... <laughs> I think the, the interesting thing would actually be about like using a bottle or even like a camelback, obviously if that, you get like the movement in it. So, uh, and then, yeah, just how people feel it, you know, like the compression against the chest, like on the skin suit, it feels a lot different. You can definitely feel like, like if somebody knows uh, about like aero, you can feel like the air reacting like differently around like your chest, so, uh, yeah, 